Strong thunderstorms putting down a ton of rain across the area. I'll show you why the flash flood threat continues to increase in just a moment. A teenager will be tried as an adult in a deadly shooting. Police outlined their case during a hearing today. Bill Clinton visiting the Bluegrass to rally support for his wife's presidential campaign will take you to the rally. WKYT News starts now with First Alert Weather. We are three for three at least. For the third afternoon, we're tracking storms moving through the area. While some of them could be strong, the bigger concern right now is flooding. We are already getting reports of high water near Richmond. This picture is from the Curtis Pike area. Let's get the very latest now with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey on the WKYT First Alert Severe Weather Day. Chris? Guys, it doesn't take much rain when you have a saturated ground to cause some flooding since Saturday. Look at the rainfall estimates here. You're talking three, four, five, six inches plus into parts of central Kentucky. I've got some eight inch amounts showing up into the western part of Kentucky. So to say it's soggy out there would be an understatement. For that reason, flood watch is out for much of central and eastern Kentucky through the evening. Defender radar network now showing why we have that flood watch. We've looked at the past. Here's what's going on right now, and I'll show you the future. With the radar here in just a moment. Let's look into parts of south central Kentucky. Heavy rain producing thunderstorms. I'm really not concerned about the severe weather threat this evening. Yes, we could get some localized wind damage, maybe some hail, but it's the potential for flooding that is taking center stage. A strong thunderstorm, Lebanon down to Campbellsville, slow moving showers and storms, Lincoln County, and again through Madison County, where we were getting those reports of a little flash flooding into the uh, Richmond area. Heaviest rain is on top of Berea. Showers and storms just grazing parts of southern Fayette County. Strongest storm right now into our part of the world is on top of Campton, where we had a lot of wind damage and flooding two nights ago. That includes southern parts of Menifee County. Strong storm that is zipping across the Hindman area of Knott County. Get into Williamsburg, some heavier rains back toward Monticello, but the storms here are losing a little bit of a punch. Now let's look into the future. Future Defender Radar Network, hour by hour, showing this stuff moving through here fairly quickly. So at least that is a good thing. By 11, 12 o'clock or so, a lot of the heavier showers and thunderstorms are off to our east. Look that one more time to show you how the heavy rain zip in here over the next few hours. That'll be the possibility of some low, at least a low alert flooding this evening, guys. This isn't a massive event by any stretch of the imagination, but some flash flooding, stream and street flooding is a possibility over the next few hours. Chris, thank you. And speaking of just that, a close call last night for three people who tried to cross a flooded road. Anderson County Emergency Management says more than six feet of water covered Rice Road at the Salt River when the group tried to cross. Their Jeep got stuck in the water and swept away. Officer Don shot this video of that Jeep today. The three people inside swam to safety before rescuers arrived. They were not hurt. Remember, we can help you track the weather even when you're on the go. Just download the WKYT weather and traffic app for your iPhone or smartphone. We are tracking the investigation into a body found at the Red River Gorge. State police say hikers found the body near Chimney Top Rock about 3.30. It was near a cliff line. State police and the Wolf County Sheriff's Office are working to figure out how that person died. A teenager will be tried as an adult in a deadly shooting. Lexington police say 15-year-old Christopher Bravo shot and killed a man on Oxford Circle in December. Today, police discuss the case against the teenager in court. WKYT's Hillary Thornton shows us the allegations the teen faces. 15-year-old Christopher Bravo in court as an adult charged with murder in the December shooting death of 20-year-old Andre Soto Jr. His attorney asking the charges be dismissed under a state statute that would give the teen immunity in the case for acting in self-defense. A Lexington police detective testifying outlining evidence against Bravo explaining there had been a couple of verbal altercations between varying gang members that involved Bravo's relatives. While Chris Bravo was present and detectives say he was not involved in any of those arguments. Police say it was after the second disorder that night that Chris Bravo pulled up in a van with his girlfriend in the area of a taco stand where some involved in those altercations were standing. He heard someone ask him, do you bang? We know that to mean, do you belong to a gang? Detectives say Bravo told them he then saw one of those people who was standing next to the victim 
pull a gun from his waistband, holding it at his side. They say Bravo then pulled a gun from the floorboard and told his girlfriend to get down. Detectives say it does not seem like there was an intended target. Bravo's attorney acknowledging the fact that in his statement to detectives, he said that gun was never pointed at him. However, because he says the 15-year-old saw a gun, he acted in self-defense. I don't think it's required that a person have to point a gun at someone or has to shoot first before a person can defend themselves. Do not Ultimately, the judge denying the request for immunity, that ruling the that the that case will move Mr. forward. In Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. And prosecutors also pointed out that while Bravo's statement mentioned self-defense, he also made comments about wanting to scare the group. Bravo will be back in court on June 17th. For the second week in a row, former President Bill Clinton is visiting Kentucky. He's here to rally support for his wife's presidential campaign. The Democratic presidential primary will be one of the races on the ballot for next Tuesday's election. WKYT's Victor Puente is live for us in Frankfurt, where former President Clinton held a rally earlier this afternoon. Well, the former president spoke for about 45 minutes. He touched on Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders. He said his wife Hillary has the experience to move the country into the future. Clinton began his talk with a reference to Kentucky politics and the fight over the cuts that played out last session. If there is anybody in the entire Commonwealth of Kentucky that knows what happens to education, health care, and the long-term economic welfare of the state, if you have Republicans only government, you do, because if it weren't for the Democratic House, you would be in a world of hurt today. He went on to talk about Hillary's plans to create jobs by rebuilding America's infrastructure. He referenced lead in the water in Flint, Michigan, and said replacing the nation's aging utilities would create jobs. If we took them all up and laid down clean ones, we couldn't export the jobs. We could give every kid in this country a healthy future. That's the kind of thing she wants to do. He also said Hillary could keep the country safe, saying we couldn't afford to ignore her experience. She is the only person who is qualified to go in there and both keep us safe and give us the space we need to grow in a troubled world. You cannot afford to ignore that. Many of the people I spoke to said they were excited to be here because they had voted for Bill Clinton when he ran for president. A few of them had the buttons and shirts to prove it. Live in Frankfurt, Victor Puente, WKYT. Victor, thank you. Right now, Clinton is in Lexington. He is making an unscheduled stop in downtown Lexington. From there, he is then set to speak in Prestonsburg at about 7.45 tonight. On the Republican side of the race, Donald Trump had his first face-to-face -face meeting with House Speaker Paul Ryan since becoming the party's presumptive nominee. And both agree they're closer to bringing the GOP together, but as Weijia Jiang shows us, so far Ryan's decision to withhold a formal endorsement has not changed. Donald Trump and Paul Ryan pledged to work together for the sake of their party. The two met at the Republican National Committee building on Thursday morning. I was very encouraged with what I heard from Donald Trump today. I do believe uh, that, that we are now planting the seeds to get ourselves unified. Trump tweeted he had a great day in D.C. and things are working out really well. But Ryan is still not ready to endorse Trump. In 45 minutes. You don't litigate all of the processes and all the issues and the principles that we, um, that we are talking about. Ryan first made the stunning announcement he would not back Trump last week, soon after Trump became the presumptive nominee. RNC but Chairman Reince Priebus is confident the party can be unified. You know, it's going to take some people a little longer than others, but I think we're going to get there. Trump's ideas have offended many groups, including women, Hispanics, and Muslims. Along with his policies, Trump's personality is also under scrutiny. He's a very warm, warm and genuine person. Protesters on Trump's trail don't think so. RIP GOP! Neither do Senate Democrats. The policies of both candidate Trump and Republican Senate majority are way out of touch with the middle class and what we need to get America. Going. The Republican National Convention kicks off July 18th. Weijia Jiang, CBS News, Washington. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, who's been one of Trump's harshest critics, spoke with Trump by phone today. He described the candidate as funny and cordial. He also says Trump asked insightful questions about national security. 
One of the victims of a crash on Interstate 75 last weekend has died. The Fayette County coroner says 56-year-old Michael Kalia died from blunt force trauma at UK Hospital yesterday. Kalia and two others were injured in a six-car pileup at the Northern Split in Lexington on Saturday. Kalia was from Canada. Police cited a mother after finding her two young children home alone. Officers were called to a store in the Windburn neighborhood about 8 this morning. Two men tell us they found a four-year-old out front alone. Police say the boy walked them a quarter mile back to his home where they found a two-year-old alone as well. Thinking about my kids, you know. I mean, what mother leave a kid out there like that? Police cited Kimberly Strajan for endangering the welfare of a minor and contacted social services. We talked to Strajan, who told us she asked a neighbor to watch the children, but the neighbor must have misunderstood her request. A group of police officers from Kentucky arrive in Washington, D.C., how they'll be honoring their fallen colleagues ahead. A new study links too much folic acid to an increased risk of autism, why experts say women should not stop taking the supplement in better living. Future radar lighting up with showers and thunderstorms across central and eastern Kentucky. We'll track the very latest after the break. Stay with us. How reliable is your cell phone when you're in danger? 911, where's your emergency? WKYT investigates what happens when 911 dispatchers can't trace where your cell phone call is coming from. The 911 cell phone disconnect tonight at 6 on WKYT. No matter the event or occasion, we've got the designers to help you perfect the look. American workers know how to fight back and rebuild an economy. So does she. We need jobs that provide dignity and a bright future. New penalties to stop companies from moving profits or jobs overseas. For businesses that create manufacturing jobs, a new tax credit. And let's invest in clean energy jobs with 500 million solar panels installed by the end of her first term. A real plan to create new jobs and industries of the future. Hillary Clinton. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I approve this message. At Hare Wynn, we've been helping people for 125 years. If you've been injured in a life-changing accident, we can help. Contact us at HelpingKentucky.com. Hare Wynn. Visit HelpingKentucky.com. Looking for the best boat your money can buy? Check out Tracker, Nitro, Sun Tracker, and Tahoe boats. Backed by the best factory warranties in the business. And Tracker is holding the line on pricing. Most 2016 boats are at or below last year's prices. Like the 2016 Tracker Pro Team 190TX for $1,100 below the 2014 price. 2016 boats at 2015 prices. At the Bass Pro Shops Tracker Boating Center in Corbin. Chimneys are in a constant state of deterioration, and most will leak at some point. We solve this problem. Don't call a roofer to fix your chimney. Call Barnhill Chimney Company today. Don? Ned? Trump? Cruz? Congress. Mike Pape. You? <laughs> yeah, Mike Pape. Unlike James Comer, who refuses to repeal Obamacare, Mike Pape will repeal Obamacare. And unlike Comer, who's for Obama's amnesty, Mike Pape is against amnesty and will build the wall. Mike Pape is a trusted conservative. He'll make America great again. I'm Mike Pape, and I approve this message. No matter the event or occasion, We've got the designers to help you perfect the look. Get WKYT news and weather updates on Mix 94.5. It is a WKYT first alert severe weather day as we look across central and eastern Kentucky. We have been noticing those skies darkening throughout the better part of the afternoon. It had that muggy summertime feel. Felt like a lot of heavy rain coming. Well, that's indeed what we're starting to get in on. Lexington down to 76 degrees. Humidity, though, up to 62% as of right now. Defender Radar Network showing those showers and thunderstorms coming at us in waves. But I'll tell you, once we get this wave through here, mid to latter part of the evening, the overall threat's going to go down. So that's at least some good news heading into the day on Friday. If you're like me, you're probably sick of all this stuff, huh? Let's get into it, show you up close to personal what all is going on. The true severe thunderstorm threat this evening, pretty low. 
more concerned about some local flash flooding issues. On a waterlogged bluegrass state, we've picked up better than four, five, and six inches of rain in some areas since Saturday. Strong thunderstorm right on top of Campbellsville. Maybe a little pea sized hail and some gusty winds with that. Heading over toward the Dunville and Liberty areas of good old Casey County. Just to the northeast of that, Stanford, Lincoln County, Lancaster, Garrett County. Heavy rains here through the Paint Lick area on top of Richmond, where a little earlier had some high water issues, getting in on showers and storms across the eastern side of the Lexington Metro. Downtown Lexington staying on the dry side. A little thunder and lightning, by the way, now coming from the skies here from Montgomery County into sections of Clark County. And this thunderstorm line. Maybe the strongest that we have currently across the eastern half of Kentucky. It's right on top of Campton, cruising down the Mountain Parkway. That'll work its way out of Menifee County into Morgan County. And right on top of the Mountain Parkway, folks here around the Candle City area get over toward Mash Fork area. Uh, the Middle Fork area of Salyersville. Eventually, you'll get in on some of those showers and thunderstorms as well. Hindman Hazard, heavy rains here. Let's take you to Corbin. A little thunderstorm popping up, Corbin. You're looking to your south. You're seeing the flashes of lightning, distant rumbles of thunder. Out ahead of that main line, yes, we're getting in, or we are getting in on some showers and storms. But I mentioned as soon as that main line goes through, it's just some general stuff, and by midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, instead of seeing me here in the middle of the night again for a third night in a row, uh, we may be seeing the skies calming just a little bit. Though, heavy rains to come from the skies this evening, some local 1 to 2 inch amounts a possibility as we go through the next 6 to 8 hours. Hour by hour forecast that will take you into the coming weekend when we have some big, big changes. Green thumbs, you're on alert Saturday night and Sunday morning for the possibility of some frost. Say what? That's right, a little frost. Tomorrow, though, let's enjoy our Friday. Looks really good. Mid 60s at noon, near 70 tomorrow afternoon. A little round of some hail producing showers and storms possible to begin the day on Saturday. Saturday will likely keep temperatures into the upper 50s on a gusty northwesterly wind. Then we go into Sunday morning, readings down into the 30s. That is your touch of frost coming Sunday morning, potentially. It's going to be cold enough. Whether or not the winds die down enough for true frost formation remains to be seen. But 35 to 40 again on Monday morning by Monday afternoon and evening. Some strong thunderstorms are back in here. So let's review, guys. Severe weather, flooding, frost, heavy rain, maybe severe weather after that again. I don't know how you keep track of all that. All over the you need place. A list. You just the check it off. Week. You know what? We've got everything but any wintertime <laughs> stuff on there. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Uh -huh. Thanks, Chris. A couple of collisions still working. I cleared the one on the inner loop of New Circle at Harrodsburg Road, but police are now working on outbound Tates Creek Road at New Circle uh, that's causing us some issues. And there's a crash at Rogers and Paris Pike and one at Clays Mill and Longview. You can see that crash at Harrodsburg and Corporate and also the one on the north side, Newtown Pike at Sugar Maple. Drive times this afternoon, it is a slow ride. Different parts of town getting to Nicholasville seems to be about normal now, uh, 15 minutes or so. Uh, outbound to Winchester on 64 looks okay and no major problems to Paris on Paris Pike. Now back to the studio. Police from Kentucky arrive in Washington, D.C. How they'll be honoring their fallen colleagues next. A scare for a family dealing with a sinkhole in their front yard. Why they think the problem is only going to get worse on WKYT News coming up at 530. When severe storms roll in, we go to work to keep you and your family safe with continuous coverage on air on WKYT.com and wherever you are with our news and weather apps. First alert, severe weather days, only on WKYT. When you're building your dream house, you want to make sure you're doing it right. It's a big job. But the Touchstone Energy Home Program can show you how to make your new place energy efficient, economical, and comfortable. We'll help you put together the home of your dreams while you save up to 30% in energy costs. You can even qualify for a rebate from your local energy cooperatives. It's easier than you think. So talk to us today about your dream home of tomorrow. Fleming Mason and Clark Energy, your Touchstone Energy cooperatives. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. The major problem with Social Security disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT.
Step right up for something fun. For just a buck, the excitement's begun. The game's called Kino, and you can play it in an alley. Or you can play it with your best friend, Sally. You can play it here or there. You can play it almost anywhere. Play with many numbers or just a few. How you play is all up to you. You can put down a little or put down a lot. So what do you say? Give Kino a shot. Just pick your numbers and hope you win. And a few minutes later, you can play it again. Now you can play Kino wherever Kentucky Lottery games are sold. Fueling imagination. Funding education. We're farmers, we're business owners, we're moms and dads, we're neighbors, we're you. We're your Touchstone Energy Cooperative, and we've been helping members like you save energy and money for decades with our energy efficiency programs. Find out how you can start saving today. Cumberland Valley Electric and South Kentucky RECC or Kentucky Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. Nancy Jo Kemper, a trusted minister, a single mother who worked to put her kids through school, and now running to fight for us in Congress. People in Kentucky are struggling. It's time to invest in jobs and protect Social Security. But Washington seems only interested in protecting the very wealthy. It's time to fix this broken system and focus on people once again. It's time for a leader who serves. I'm Nancy Jo Kemper, and I approve this message. WKYT is putting the new back in late news with newer stories and more updates. So there's less repetition, which means no wasted time. WKYT News at 11. Newer, fresher, worth staying up for. Each spring, thousands join together in Washington to honor those law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty. And dozens of Kentuckians arrived there today to honor those killed here in the Bluegrass State. Jennifer Palumbo's live at the desk in the newsroom. Jennifer, this is quite a, an honor and a, a gesture they make. It is, Sam. They made the ultimate sacrifice in the name of public safety. And today, members of the Richmond Police Department made their way into Washington to honor fallen officer Daniel Ellis. I felt a lot of emotions there. You know, you're happy to see his name up there, but to really see it and you know feel it, it's it's uh, that means it means so much to us to know that he's going to be remembered. So it was a sad moment, but a, but a happy moment. 26 current and three former Richmond police officers are in Washington to honor Officer Ellis. He was shot and killed in the line of duty six months ago. And today the fellow officers completed their journey. It's all part of events to honor the nation's fallen officers. And the Lexington Police Department is also taking part. It's called the Police Unity Tour. Officer Howard Florence is seen here. He's riding in honor of Kentucky State Police Trooper Eric Chrisman, who died in a crash last year while responding to a call. Also today, Kentucky Senator Mitch McConnell met with 26 officers from the Richmond Police Department. All the officers who made the trip to Washington will attend a candlelight vigil tomorrow night at the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial. At the live desk, Jennifer Palumbo, WKYT. Jennifer, thank you. WKYT Sean Moody will be in Washington, D.C., covering the ceremonies to honor Kentucky's fallen heroes. You can see Sean's reports beginning tomorrow on WKYT News at 6. A federal court has denied a former coal executive's emergency request to delay his prison sentence. Don Blankenship is scheduled to start serving one year today, but wanted to delay it so his appeal can be heard. He received the sentence after a jury found him guilty of willfully violating mine safety standards at the Upper Big Branch Mine in West Virginia. The coal mine exploded in 2010, killing 29 men. A tattoo parlor falls victim to thieves. We talked to the business owner about what was stolen on WKYT News at 530. Only 29 dollars What? You're not buying this. Come on. No. Awesome. No. Too expensive. Cut it out. This is embarrassing. Ah. Come on, open up. You never let me have any fun. Hey, what about a vacation? At Allegiant.com, we can get a great deal on flights and more, and that's fun. How come most of the time I can't get you to open up? But going on vacation is okay. One word, Allegiant. Listen to your wallet and visit Allegiant.com now. At Baptist Health, we want you to know the facts. Visit BaptistHealthDocs.com to view a video of Dr. Jennifer Fusen on minimally invasive surgery. Baptist Health Lexington. Be a healthier you.
Can you help me figure out what to plant in my front yard to help our curb appeal? Sorry, I just started working here last week, so I'm not sure. Hey, can you help her find some plants? Sorry, kid. I work in the plumbing department. Can you help me figure out what to plant to help our curb appeal? Piece of cake. First, you need a few dwarf boxwoods over there. Supplement those with a crate. Take your curb appeal to the next level. At King's Gardens, we share your passion for plants. All across America, families are coming back to Time Warner Cable for a whole new experience. We came back for internet speed so fast, even the kids are impressed. Oh, she's impressed. We're catching up on movies and shows on demand just as fast as we can watch them. TWC's home Wi-Fi is so strong, we can use all our devices at the same time. Come back today. You'll get 100 meg internet, TV, phone, and more for $89.99 a month. And ask how you could get a $300 reward card. Call now. All summer long, your road to refreshment leads to Speedway. And now that Speedway's grown throughout the Midwest, Northeast, and Southeast, nobody has a handle on your summer fun better than Speedway. From the sunny shores of Florida to New York City, from the Carolinas to the New England coast, your road to refreshment leads to Speedway. And now, Speedway's celebrating 25 years supporting Children's Miracle Network hospitals. Donate today. We're on your way to convenience stores of Speedway. Now, a 32-ounce Speedy Freezer fountain drink, just 89 cents. You may be entitled to $1,500 for each call you've received from any company collecting a debt. Seems too good to be true, but it's the law. The system is rigged. There's not enough good jobs. It's harder to get ahead. And Washington is broken. We need leaders that put our country ahead of party. I'm a businessman, not a politician. I don't believe every Democratic idea is a good idea or every Republican idea is a bad one. I'll take good ideas from both sides and put Kentucky first. I'm Jim Gray. I sponsored this ad to make our state stronger and more prosperous. Jim Gray, Kentucky first. Get WKYT news and weather updates on Mix 94.5. Time now for better living, health, education, and consumer news that impacts your life. It's considered a key nutrient for pregnant women or women planning to become pregnant, folic acid. Now there's a new study linking high levels of the vitamin to an increased risk of autism. Specifically, researchers found high levels at the time of a baby's birth increase the risk. While experts agree the findings might alarm you, they say women should not stop taking folic acid. Now, this does not mean that taking too much B12 or folate causes autism. This is an association. There needs to be a lot more study. And the bottom line here is the recommendation stays exactly the same. The recommended daily dose of folic acid for pregnant women is between 400 and 800 micrograms. Doctors say too little folic acid during pregnancy puts babies at increased risk for severe neurological problems and birth defects. The University of Kentucky wants to help keep you up to date on the Zika virus. The virus is spread by mosquitoes and has been linked to birth defects. UK has launched a website to track the spread of the virus as we get into mosquito season. So far, outbreaks have been limited to South and Central America and the Caribbean. Kentucky has had six cases in all people who have traveled to affected areas. We have a link for you to UK's website. Just go to WKYT.com. Vegetables might not be your favorite, but we don't have to tell you that they really are good for you. There are ways to make them tastier without sacrificing the health benefits. Mary Maloney shows us a few options. Preparing vegetables rather than eating them raw can maximize their health benefits. The process of cooking breaks down tough outer layers and cell structures on many vegetables, making it easier for your body to absorb the nutrients. So, what are some of the best ways to prepare veggies? Steam, don't boil. Steaming is a great way to prepare vegetables because it keeps cooking time, temperature, and amount of liquid to a minimum. Boiling vegetables causes water soluble vitamins to leach into the water, effectively wasting them. When in doubt, microwave. Microwaving uses little to no water and heats veggies quickly from within, preserving nutrients like vitamin C. An exception to this rule is cauliflower. Microwaving cauliflower causes a high loss of nutrients, according to a 2009 study. Saute, don't fry. During deep fat frying, fat penetrates the food and dehydrates the vegetables. Sauteing maximizes flavor. And another study shows that sauteing with olive oil increases absorption of phytonutrients like phenols and carotenes. Griddling, baking, and roasting. Contrary to grilling, 
Griddling uses a pan with raised edges and is normally done on the stove or in the oven. Veggies griddled with a tiny bit of olive oil can develop intense flavor and be quite healthy. Baking and roasting are hit or miss health wise and depend on the vegetable. For today's Health Minute, I'm Mary Maloney. Some tasty options there for you. Now, here's what's coming up at 5 30.